get started here real quickly. If I can have your attention. We appreciate everybody coming in and taking the time today to come in for this special event. I'm Dave Llewellyn. I'm the manager here at Marshall County REMC. This is Joe McCarter. He is the CEO of Rochester Telephone Company. And just a little bit of a brief background. So Marshall County Fiber is our partnership 50-50 with Rochester Telephone. Um, Rochester Telephone is out of Fulton County, out of Rochester. And they've been in the fiber business, I believe, since about 2000. Yeah around that so they were one of the early adopters of fiber kind of an innovator in the industry uh, well recognized and it all started back in late 2018 early 2019 uh, marshall county remc was looking at a project to install fiber optic around the county what we call our smart grid fiber loop and that was uh, going to be a project to interconnect all of our substation um, substations throughout the county and then also our communication devices out in the field uh, for the electric side and to be able to have that all on a secure fiber network for communication purposes and for future, uh, we saw it was going to be necessary. And so we started the conversation of what that might look like in building that fiber loop. And in that conversation, we realized real quickly, we know nothing about fiber. We know electric, we don't know the fiber side. So in the conversation, we thought, why not reach out to an expert uh, right here locally? And so that started the conversation with Rochester Telephone. Um, and that conversation quickly led to a conversation of, well, if we're going to do a fiber loop and they're going to help us work on um, designing and building that, is there interest in residential fiber, fiber to the home, which they already did down in Fulton County um, and had been very successful. And so that conversation quickly led into, well, let's try a pilot project. And so we started a pilot project early 2019, um, just south of the office or north of the office here in Forest Hills. Um, subdivision and Southfield subdivision just across the highway on King Road and those projects turned out real quickly to be very successful and the and the uh, business just started to grow and continued to grow up until the current time um, as far as the project itself we are about hundred percent complete in the next couple months we'll be 100 percent complete with everything that was originally planned as the main build for Marshall County um, which is mostly the southern part of the county um, the far north west corner and even the far northeast corner we have not served I'm not saying that we won't long term but there's other providers that got some grant money and things to serve those areas and so we're kind of waiting to see what their play is where they go and then maybe we can fill in some of the gaps um, right now we've passed 4,800 homes with an additional 500 yet to be passed and out of those we've got about 19,000 or 1,900 subscribers currently and that's quickly growing. We're constantly building a list and a backlog of installs. Um, we've placed over a thousand miles of fiber optic cable so far within Marshall County. And so far to date, you know, between the two companies, we've invested over $16 million in the county in the infrastructure um, to serve fiber. So it's been a great partnership. Um, we're excited about it and been very successful. It's a long-term project, you know, by serving the rural area. It uh, is, is one of those things that's a little more difficult. That's why your big players like your CenturyLink uh, or Brightspeed and uh, Comcast, Mediacom and things are, are not as quick to go out into those areas because they're looking for that return on investment. Um, we have about six customers per mile on average on the electric side, which for a return on investment doesn't look real great in the project, but that wasn't what was driving the project. It was more kind of like the electric side back in the 1930s where there was a need, um, nobody else was stepping up, the big players were serving the, the urban areas where there was more profit, and nobody was looking to go to the rural areas, and that's kind of the situation where, where we were at um, at a county level when we got into this project. So um, we look at the fiber as almost being the next utility. You know, it's that important, it's as important anymore as the electric, so. I guess I'll turn it over to Joe for a few comments if he's got anything to say. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of coattailing on the investment. Um, $16 million to build out a rural area. There's a reason rural areas were not built. So I just like to give a lot of credit to the RMC board as well as our board that, that they had the foresight, realized that the, there's a huge quality of life component uh, for our rural residents and they were willing to invest and be patient um, on a return. So first of all, a, a huge thanks to the RMC board and the RTC board. Um, secondly, the employees of both companies, anytime you have a partnership, um, you know, there's some growing pains in working together, but that's gone very well. 
Um, it was a brand new business for the RMC, um, but, but they recognize the need as well. Uh, our county commissioners, county council, county highway department, those entities are huge when you do a build like that. Um, that you know, their involvement and their support from permitting to a lot of other things is very critical. Um, Chad Morgan has been our project manager from day one. Um, he's done a great job, um, a lot of work, um, but uh, as far as managing our subcontractors, uh, so big thanks to Chad. Um, but I just think that it's, you know, you look now at the activity in Marshall County, as Dave mentioned, in the, in the Northwest and Northeast, we're seeing other providers. They weren't doing anything back in 2016 when we first started talking about this. Um, now there's grant money on the table. We did the majority of this build on our own uh, prior to the state and federal grant money being available. Um, and now others have come along, which is gonna benefit the county, right? Um, I think by this time next year, um, almost every home in Marshall County is gonna have access to fiber-based internet. Um, so I feel good about that. I think the partnership should feel good about that because we kind of led the way. Um, so appreciate everyone coming today. Uh, I think we're gonna have a ribbon cutting outside. Uh, if you have any questions, the, the only ask that we have is if you got our service and you like it, tell your neighbors. Um, we've invested a lot of money and it's all about how many customers we get signed up. Um, our marketing team is doing a great job of, of getting the word out, but it's still amazing to us how many people don't know um, and are just putting up with subpar internet. So tell your friends and family if you've had a good experience. If you haven't, don't say anything. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think we, uh, we, we give a good quality product and um, just spread the word. So thanks for coming. I guess one last note that I would make too, you know, there's, I've said it before, but not all fiber is created equal. Uh, I can tell you I'm working with Rochester Telephone and their expertise, um, their first class, and we did everything first class on the project. There's no shortcuts that were taken. You know, you get out and you look at what some of these other people are doing, and they're bringing fiber into, say, a subdivision where I've got an example, um, and then they're using the existing copper plant or network within that subdivision, so it's not true fiber to the home. Um, and things like that. So there's a lot of differences in fiber. We've done it the right way. We've future-proofed it, I feel, to, to ride out the, the life of fiber, uh, however long that may be. And then the one thing too is that we're local. You know, they've been in their community for over 100 years. We're approaching 100 years as Marshall County RMC here. Um, and we're still local, we're still available. There's not too many places anymore that you can still go in and actually talk to somebody. It's just the way of the world. And so we pride ourselves on that and uh, pride ourselves on customer service, and we know that that's what will help differentiate us against the competition. So.